Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Day one of the advent calendar. Right, box. I, I don't know what to expect on this. I've got completely sealed it anyway, but this shows, it gives away everything, I think. It says each day reveals a different component. Great, all electrical components. So it gives it away exactly what's inside anyway. Then follow step by step instructions. Don't know, just four different things you can do, code break, as Simon says live uh, wire maze but there's also these are the ones anyway so 24 games to build and play so whether or not that's one per day or not i don't know so let's get rid of the outer box because we don't really need that anymore and let's get into the actual advent calendar ah ooh well, it's actually ooh there's a plastic Oh, there's a book attached. Okay. I'm going to do this on the other video. The full book, there's a cardboard bit there. So I can cut out that, cut out this. Do I? And that bit's there, it attaches onto whatever. Oh! <laughs> okay. Right, so it wants me, obviously, it wants me to do this for, for, for some reason. Probably for these six games here to cut out to make like a little console sort of thing but we can we'll look at that if ever we get today into the first bit of the manual now as all everything with the Haynes manual is blooming ridiculous so yeah let's not cheat too far right so number one hidden wires but that's not what I'm here to do it's open day one which is here now if you can see this one day one is a very big one. So let's open her up because it's the 1st of December. So the first day of Advent. And behind. Come on. I'm trying to be careful, trying to make not look crap later on. There you go, number one. So it looks like we have breadboard some wire oh come out there you go a battery pack an LED and a switch okay and some wire so that's that's day one now I'm guessing <laughs> literally I'm guessing that a button a bit of wires, a green LED, and a very, it's quite heavy that breadboard. You can obviously slide something in there, there. I don't know. And it mounts onto some of the screws or the double sided pad which it's stuck to. Okay, so that's day one. Let's see what we have. Hidden wires, first day of Christmas, time to open the first door of the calendar. Yes, we've done that. Several components will be found, LED, roll of wire, just in that, right, game. Right, so let's go through instructions. No, that's number two. I don't need that one. So what I think I will need is three batteries. So let me go through this, see what I need to do. Quick edit, and you can jump in exactly what I'm going to do with day one. And just a quick note before I start putting things together, it does actually state that the LED on this one is actually a specific type of LED. This is the warning on here. A green LED needs two volts apparently, and this provides four and a half, obviously. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, so that's four and a half volts. Put a normal LED in when you're playing this game, then it will go pop because you've got too much voltage going through. But this is a special special LED with a resistor already built into it. I don't know if it's these two little nubbins down here or whether it's actually inside. I think it's actually inside it. But it's fully integrated inside the thing. Actually, I think there's a small black dot inside the green. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in a little bit. There you go. See that black dot inside? I think that is actually the resistor. Or I could be completely wrong. Or it's inside where the diode is. Yeah. So 
but it's just warning you don't put a standard LED in follow the instructions now this is just a simple hidden wires game anyway looks like on here you have to put a your LED in a couple of places which I'll do that in a second your battery needs to go underneath even though it's been stuck in place but it tells you to make sure that the wires are in and then put inside for your battery pack it will be fine for all of the these 24 days at Christmas anyway so it's it's not a problem you don't need to take out and put back in these once this battery packs in it, it's done and then you start cutting piece of wiring and, and the switch but what I want to do before I do this is I'm going to actually put together the base thing so I'll cut that out get them ready put these in and then we'll come back once everything's up and running I'll explain what the game's supposed to be now I've got the box built up it's you can you can do a little bit longer on yours if you've got one of these yourself anyway it's kind of a little bit 3d-ish it kind of folds up at the front got your wooden stuff like an Atari 2600 breadboards in red black the power the, the batteries at the back here anyway so they're hidden out of the way but this is the first game hidden wires so what you basically need to do is gonna keep is you then if you're player one between on the breadboard E and F put a cable between any it could be between E10 and F19 18 something like that let me get you in a little bit so you can see better on the breadboard but this is a hidden right because so basically you can do from there to, to wherever cover it with cardboard and then the person second person is supposed to guess where from obviously that pin there for the LED on these rows down so I put one to there to there to there and one from there to there there's another bridge over here for that to go for the negative power so hopefully it should it's not fully pressed in there it lights up so it's like a hidden game hidden where which combination is it sort of game I mean granted all these games are kind of very very easy electronics it shows you there's a circuit you've got power coming in power coming to a switch from this to there to the top part here over to the top of the LED to the bottom wire over here which then connects because all these on the breadboard are all connected downwards so technically let me get in the scalpel a little bit so the cable comes in comes this side of the switch then goes to the other side so it will power to do that anyway so then the cable comes down and in to across to down to across to down here across to there which is on this this is a, a section going straight across coming up onto here and then creating a full circuit that's all it is it's, it's very easy electronics and with four and a half volts going through an led which is actually quite cool that's actually not bad but that's number one done we'll see what's what's in store tomorrow for what kits what what game number two is see all of these will be little parts that I will use I'll assume in different ones for the next next 24 days up to Christmas Eve so yeah it's a nice little um, sit down and, and play around sort of electronics well, I say it's electronic games lab so it, it's good learning to do stuff I'm looking forward to other things like there's a ping pong I don't know reaction I don't know well we'll see what happens but like I said this is just a, a basic circuit diagram power in switch light a bit more of a of a game wise with the extra bits on the on the set on the middle part here back up to the return and you've got a complete circuit done spot on day one done come back tomorrow for day two please like subscribe share on social media if you'd like follow me for the rest of the month and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now